Hello, welcome to uh, another year of chemistry here at Vincennes University. My name is Dr. Aaron Bruck, and if you're watching this video, it is because you're in one of my sections. Uh, so the focus of this video is going to be on Chem 105, and in particular, we're going to focus primarily on some of the tools that are available in Blackboard for Chem 105 and some of the things that you're going to have to do in Chem 105. Um, online through the virtual portions of this course. So let's go ahead and take a look. So if we go to Chem 105, and I'm in the student view right now of Blackboard, what you'll see is that there are a number of buttons here on the side. And one of those buttons, start here, gives you an insight into some of the things that you will be asked to do. Um, and some of the, the resources that are available to you. So first of all, if you do not have your textbook, if you do not want to purchase your textbook, that's okay. Now you'll still have to run into getting access to smart work for doing the homework. But there are resources out there that are helpful. One of them is called OpenStax. And if you click on this link, it'll send you to the OpenStax textbook that is not quite the same as ours, but is presented in a very similar format and it's written relatively well. Uh, and you can see that in here you've got some things that are useful to you, you've got some resources, uh, some help and tips for time management and note taking. Um, You've got the book itself, which is completely free here online. You can actually download a PDF of it or view it in the app. If you want to order a print copy of it for yourself, um, it is available. It's uh, not the cheapest of things. Um, you'd actually probably be better off getting our textbook if you wanted a, a physical copy, but it's, it's there if, if you want it. And the table of contents here follows a pretty similar structure to what we are doing in our class um, with some minor, minor modifications, uh, but nothing too, too out there or strange. So if you don't want to get the textbook, like I said, that's fine. Uh, I would recommend this is a pretty decent resource for that. You still are going to want to get the smart work code, um, uh, which I'll walk you through that in a second. The second resource here, Gradescope. If you click on this link, now, if you were enrolled in the class um, by this morning, you should have got an email from me. I auto-enrolled everybody that was in the Blackboard section this morning into Gradescope using your email addresses. Uh, if you have not checked your email, I would encourage you to do so, and I would encourage that you check your email on a regular basis because at least for the first little while here, that's gonna be the primary means of communication between you and your professor. Once you get into a couple of classes and, and meet with your professor a couple of times, they'll probably be able to tell you their preferred method of communication, but email is pretty much all we got right now. But for grade scope, if you click on that link, it's gonna take you here. Now, again, if you're in email, uh, you should have already been signed up for an account. Your, your uh, email should tell you how to complete the sign up process um, and go from there. If you just added recently, you'd click on this sign up button and you'd sign up as a student. You would put in your course entry code, uh, which we got off of here. The, 9GDP87, and then you could put in your name and your email address. You do not need to put in your student ID. In fact, I encourage you strongly not to, but you could if you wanted to. Again, I don't really see a, a reason for it. So I would not encourage the the student ID. If you click on sign up as a student, it would put you into the course, it sets you up there automatically. That 
email address is one I use for this kind of demonstration anyway. So I'm going to just log in with that. And since I already have an account, it would tell me to add a course. I put in my entry code and it would say, okay, look, this is, this is the course that you're in, Chem 105. Um, and it would tell you, okay, this, these are the assignments that are, are coming up and coming due. Um, obviously the course hasn't started yet. None of these are there. But once we get things rolling on Monday, uh, you'll start to see assignments showing up in here that we need to do. Um, and I'll do another grade scope specific video here in, uh, in another video uh, where I'll show you how you can document your materials in the grade scope and, and ultimately submit them. Uh, the other thing that you can do uh, right now is you can sign up for Remind. If you click on the link inside of your course, it'll take you directly to the course for, um, for our class. So this is the Chem 105 section. Um, if you click on the one that's in the Chem 100 section or the 105 lab or the 100 lab, it would take you to those individual courses instead. Um, just depending upon what course, what course you're signed up for. Um, but Remind is my preferred method of contact in between classes. Uh, since we're doing most everything virtually, um, it is a little bit easier to catch someone on email, but uh, you know as well as I do, not everybody checks their email all the time. So what this will allow you to do is you can quickly fire off a text message and say, hey, this this doesn't make sense to me. I'm not going to be in class today. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling kind of ill, wh whatever the case may be. Um, reminds a very easy way to, to uh, communicate that information. Um, also here on Blackboard, uh, you'll find there is some information here about me. Um, the, so some general information about me and this uh, link here is a link to my YouTube channel, in particular to my YouTube channel for Chem 105. Um, so that'll take you directly to this particular playlist. Um, most of these videos I have made um, in times past. So these are kind of more small snippets. But what you'll also see is that if you go to that channel and you go to the playlists here, you can also see that, you know, I've got a full list of lectures from my summer class this past summer. Some of them are longer than others, but um, they, they do, you know, they do the job. Um, and what will happen is over time, um, as we proceed through the semester, the uh, Zoom meetings that we do will get posted uh, on that YouTube channel as their own playlist as well. Um, the syllabus for our class, uh, if you're interested in kind of getting a jump, this uh, link will take you to uh, a PDF version of the syllabus that you can download. Uh, this is what our actual textbook is. We're using the chemistry atoms focused approach by Brett's Foster Gilbert and Curse, um, which is now in the third edition. Um, um, other things. Um, for our virtual days, uh, this is a hybrid class. One of every three of our class meetings will be done online. And on those days, or if you uh, cannot come to class face to face for whatever reason, but you still want to listen in, the lecture link is right here. If you click on that link, it'll take you directly into um, that room. I'd click on it now and show you, but since I'm recording this on Zoom, you'll actually kick me out of this recording to do that. So we're just going to have to take my word for it. Um, other things here, the lecture prep, if you click on that, um, you've got another link to my YouTube channel here. 
you've got a reference page for, for quizzes and exams, and then you can see each one of our chapters is broken down, um, and inside each one of those folders, you have the PowerPoint for that chapter. You also have some helpful videos, so these are videos outside of my ecosystem of, uh, of videos on my YouTube channel. These are other ones, ones that I like, ones that I've come across that are good, um, that you can use. Some of these folders are bigger than others. But we also see that you've got in here a study guide as well. Um, and study guide, actually, it's a link you'll download directly into your, um, server and it'll, uh, uh, you can download it from, from there. Um, so that's the lecture prep. Um, almost every, uh, almost every uh, lecture is going to have a post-lecture activity associated with it. Um, you'll find those post-lectures here. So among those post-lectures, you're going to find um, the actual activity itself. So if it is an activity that you need to either write out by hand or uh, type in your computer and upload, uh, it'll have a link to it here. It'll also have a link to Gradescope underneath it so that you know that that's where it goes. After the due date, the key will come uh, available. So you'll be able to see it, you'll be able to check your answers uh, against it. I'll also provide you feedback inside of Gradescope itself. Um, um, so those, those are, are all there. The other post lectures, the ones that are not that way, um, would actually be found in Smart Work, and, and we'll talk more about Smart Work here in, in just a second. Um, so, um, proficiencies. Uh, the proficiencies inside of this proficiency aids folder, you will have all of the different proficiencies um, and some important materials to help you pass them. So, things like, you know, what ions do you need to know? Some tips and tricks for naming those ions. Uh, I've got here uh, flashcards. that you can use uh, to uh, help you learn. Uh, this is a Quizlet that was given to us uh, a while ago. Um, works really, really well to help you just kind of gain recognition. So those are all there. In the proficiencies folder here, right now it's showing nothing, um, but you have five proficiencies that you have to pass for this course in order to pass the course and you'll be taking all of those proficiencies online here in Blackboard, and this is where they will be housed. Same thing for, uh, right now it's not showing, but uh, your chapter quizzes will also be in here, as will your exams. And so right now you can click on exams, it's not gonna show you anything, but on exam days, you'll find that there's gonna be a test in here that you have to take, and you, know, you have a certain amount of time to take it. Under exam prep, you're gonna find each exam has usually a prep guide of some kind, as well as a practice test, just to kind of get you uh, prepared for it. Um, and then often the, the practice test will have a key there for you as well so that you can check yourself. Um, last couple of things that I wanted to point out to you um, this button here, check your grade. Right now it doesn't show you anything because there aren't any grades to be had. But if you're ever curious about what your grade is, you're gonna wanna look at this weighted total because the grade calculation here in Chem 105 is a weighted percentage. So look here for an idea of how you're doing. Uh, this column, frankly, actually won't even be there. Um, uh, the other things that we have available, uh, we have online office hours. Uh, so all of my office hours are gonna be done virtually. The office hours themselves are published in the syllabus. We'll talk more about that on Monday. 
um, but they'll all be through Zoom. And so the link to that Zoom office hour page is right here. You'll also see that we have online tutoring available. And if you click on this, it'll take you to something called BrainFuse. Now it's not gonna show me that because I'm in the student mode. Um, but if I get out of student mode here just for a second and click on that BrainFuse um, online tutoring link now, um, what it'll show you is that there are a number of tools in here. Um, the university has actually paid for uh, every student in Chem 105 to have a few hours of online tutoring through BrainFuse. Um, so this is where you would be able to uh, uh, get that live tutoring. Even without the live tutoring, there are academic tools in here. So you wanna do something like uh, Skill Surfer. In the Skill Surfer here, you can go to college and chemistry. There are modules in here on uh, you know, basic chemistry up to more complicated things. Um, there are practice quizzes in here. So, you know, you're struggling with atoms and molecules. You click on the practice quiz. And it pops out here into here are a series of questions uh, that you can answer um, and, and get feedback on. Uh, so there are some really cool tools there in BrainFuse. Um, you just gotta look to open them up. So this concludes our tour of the uh, Chem 105 Blackboard page. We'll talk more about this our first day of class, but I wanted to give you kind of a sneak peek insight for those of you that are kind of confused about what needs to be done now and what kinds of things you can do to get ahead of all of those things are there for you. And um, I hope that you use all of them. If you have any questions, by all means, um, send me an email or uh, drop a remind message to me or I will see everybody first day of class on Monday. Have a good afternoon.